Welcome to number 23, Chinuch Babayat. Here's a question you can throw at the kids at the Shabbos table or in the kitchen. Great question. Uh, once upon a time, a gentleman walks into a waiting room and everyone's sitting there quietly and he starts coughing directly into their faces Achoo! and sneezing <coughs> right in their face. And he takes turns with each person right into their face. He even says, open up your mouth wide and coughs right into their mouth. This is outrageous. The man's crazy. He called police. What, what, security. What's going on? The man's mad. I would never let that. I would, I would leave the room before he gets to me. Question, which is worse, the scenario we just described or where someone walks into the room and starts dumping not their regular germs, just their complaints, anger, hatred, resentment, words of jealousy and animosity, all the things that they are bothered about and they're dumping it on you, in your ears. Which is worse, the physical germs or the spiritual germs? Point of discussion. Scenario number two. Here you have a gentleman who's coughing away. Perhaps he's got corona and he's um, coughing deeply into a container that is self-sealing the moment you finish coughing. And when you want to sneeze and cough, it allows you just to throw in all of your germs into the container. And now you're able to put a straw in a special opening, which you can now breathe in. <sighs> All the germs that were just <laughs> expelled into this container. Question. If you saw someone sneeze and cough, sneeze and cough until the jar is filled with his germs and then he, he breathes it back in with a straw, would you say that's logical or illogical? It's illogical. Well, is that a whole lot different to when I breathe in Loshan Hara, anger, Thoughts of jealousy or resentment or frustration, anxiety, fear, um, jealousy. And I repeat the thoughts and repeat them and repeat them. Why is it any different to what I'm doing? And I'm regurgitating the germs, hurting my own personality, attitude, mindset, thoughts. It's a point of discussion. Ask your children which they think is worse. It's just a way to create more awareness of how my thoughts affect my feelings and my actions. Enjoy the discussion.